What's up guys, I just got home from work. Kyler's on his way to my house right now and we're gonna head up to one of my farms in Michigan. Um, I drove by yesterday and there was a tom out in this cut cornfield with a couple hens. And last year, the bird I shot was in the exact same spot. And he was using that same field for about four days in a row before I ended up killing him. So I'm hoping this bird's going to be doing about the same thing. So we're going to head on up there. And if he's already out there, we're going to come up with a game plan on how to get him killed. But if not, we're just going to go out there and set up. And hopefully he comes in tonight and we can get a shot at him.
Boom, baby. When did this guy come out here? That couldn't have been more perfect. You can't tell me a weight. I started shaking. <laughs> I saw you shaking. Yeah. I was shaking. I had to keep. I had to keep my hands off the camera. Yeah. He was freaking beautiful when he came in. When he, the first time he found oh. out, I said that fan is perfect. Oh, yeah. The old 410 did it again. Oh yeah. I love this thing. <laughs> Dude, just waylaid him. Yeah, I can't believe he didn't. Where's his hens at? I don't know. Where's this other? Where yeah. Where did he come from? Unless there's hens across here or something, but I don't know. What just happened? We just killed a Michigan Longbeard. Uh, while we were sitting here, we've only been here for about an hour or so, probably. And all of a sudden, one gobbled right back here in this thicket, and he wasn't very far, so called a little bit, and... He would just gobble every once in a while. He probably gobbled back in there three or four times. And uh, we were just sitting here. We knew he was going to come out here. He was out here last night. And last year I killed my bird in the exact same spot. And he did the same thing for about four days in a row. So we thought we had a pretty good chance at him. So we were sitting here and I see him pop his head out. And I was like, there he is. So he, uh, he just kind of slowly eased his way through there, gobbled at us once over there. And then finally got up to the fence and looked around and must have thought it was okay he crossed and worked his way in finally he was like what 30 yards before he started strutting and after that he was game over and supposedly after I shot another turkey flew off right here he must have came from behind us across the creek but that was another long beard never heard him never seen him we were pretty dialed in on this one but <laughs> yeah what do you, what is he 12 yards probably yeah we put the decoys pretty close the geese are coming in, they're coming in. I didn't realize I put the decoys that close until I got back here. I was like, well, it is what it is now. Yeah, I love it, though. <laughs> uh, of course, he, well, when he started going through the weeds over there, I was like, well, please don't scart us. and just." Yeah, I know. I was kind of worried. I wonder if he saw that other bird yeah. back behind us and was skirting out to him, and he just couldn't take the hey, DSD God, anymore. Probably brought that other one. That's what I was wondering. I could see back behind us pretty good, and... uh Apparently not good enough because um, I was I kept checking back. I've checked back there like five or six times, yeah. and uh, them weeds or, or I don't know if they're standing beans still or weeds, but they were covering a lot of that field. I'm like, if a turkey comes out, he's either coming down this edge, yeah. or he's gonna skirt all the way around them that tall grass, and he must have skirted all the way unless he came from across the road too. He could have. Yeah, but, I remember last year we tried killing that bird that was in there yeah and they were all hanging out in that tall grass but he, Dude. Had, the, he had the old dsd laying flat on his back yeah just <laughs> killing that dsd i got nervous when he got up to it he wasn't like strutting or nothing but the way yeah. he was gobbling he was yeah. he was ready for it oh yeah i was ready for it you're like you ready i said no well, i'm not ready just making sure you're ready <laughs> I, yeah i said don't kill him yet Kentucky did me in, so... <laughs> you were ready to squeeze. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. I guess we can go look at him. Huh? Go check him out. Giant, dude. Jesus About a nine-incher. Big bird, though. It looks heavy. His body is... Dude, them colors are just wicked. Yeah. That thing is beautiful. Having a bad season. Four ten freaking boom flopped him. What are you a four for four with that gun now? How many have you killed with it? Four for four. Yeah. Four for four. Oh, I guess four for five. Four for five. The one I had to pick up the twelve gauge. He stayed out a little too far for him. But other than that, ain't mess with him at all. Kind of. Well, we pushed its limits a little bit in Michigan <laughs> yeah. last year. Yeah. He kind of just brushed the mouth and kept walking, but. I'm cold to hide. There's like nothing to hide in. We just have permission in this field and the property across the road is where he usually hunts. But for whatever reason, the last couple years, these birds have been out in these fields coming out of the neighbor's property. It looks like a strutter's over there on the point right now. But uh, they've been hanging out in the neighbor's property and uh, coming out in these fields in the afternoon. And there's like nowhere to hide. All the brush and trees are across the fence on the other property. 
and uh, so as you can see behind us this little brush pile is all we had and apparently it worked so I was kind of hoping he was gonna come out to the left of us but he came down right down the pipe worked out good start to the season Kyler killed yesterday and then mine tonight so we got quite a bit of editing to do but it's been a good start and hopefully we'll keep it rolling <laughs> 